Hey everybody, this is Mike again here with another uh, gear review. Right now I'm reviewing, I just got the competitor brand uh, Vader. This is the all black model. There's no contrast stitching. This is an A2. It's a 450 gram pearl weave jacket. It's got the EVA foam collar and the collar is covered with a uh, ripstop material. And it's a, it's a decent collar. Decent stiffness. Not too wide. But I like it. All black. It just has competitor in all black on the side of the lapel. And um, I like that size. Um, it's not too wide. Like the Moya brand was a little bit too wide for me. I like this one. And it, it just shows up in the light. And on uh, the sleeves, on the shoulders, it only has one patch here. Kid competitor there. Now the other side it doesn't, but the other side on the, on the sleeve has the little shaka sign. So pearl weave, you got the little pearls, nice and light, 450 gram, made in Pakistan, as um, it seems every gi is nowadays. Inside, red, um, Kind of sophisticated uh, design, red uh, tape, taping, and that is also inside the jacket. The reinforcements at the vents are ripstop, Hero Series, Ground Wars. It's all along the bottom, it looks really nice, it's really black right now. In the armpits, there are no reinforcements. Just like the Sherry Roll, just like the Mojo, just like the Moya. And it's got a little tag here. Use your soul. That's what it says. And made in Pakistan. The taping along here says Ground Wars Vader. And it, it is not scratchy at all. None of the taping is scratchy. And I really like their little logo, which is the screaming monkey. On the back. Pretty plain. Stitching wise, there is no um, issues with loose stitching, loose threads or anything like that. So that's 450 gram per weave. So let's check out the pants over here real quick. Sorry. A little string there. So the pants are ripstop. They feel a bit waxy right now, but they haven't been washed at all. They are a little bit, just a tad bit long on me. And, um, a little bit wide, but I kind of like that because I wear knee pads. So um, if they shrink down a little bit, they should be just fine. Um, the crotch is just regular ripstop. And the knee pads, or the knee reinforcements, are a little bit higher up than others. So they don't go as far down your shin as others. But um, your knee is like right here and then yeah, more towards the top, towards the top of the thigh. It's got the logo here in, in gray, which is nice. And then it's got um, three loops on each side and one in the middle. And they actually work out really well. It's got the bungee cord. And the loops themselves are ripstop. So sometimes you get ripstop pants, that the pants are ripstop, but then the loops are cotton. So, and these are also closer to um, the pants, so uh, they're a little bit wider and not so much um, play in terms of, you know, like space here. They're a little bit more closer, so a little bit tighter, snugger fit, and the bungee cinches up nice. Those are real good. And then on the back, something I didn't like when I first pre-ordered it and I really still don't like now that I've tried them on and stuff is the patch location in the back which is 
right on the crack of your ass. So I don't know why they did that. They might have done that to um, just to have another patch, but also to help reinforce it. So you know to maybe um, stop against ripping down the middle. But if you can see, it's just sewn. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my little seam ripper. And I'm going to take that off because even when I wear them, just to try them on, I can actually feel that um, that patch through the pants. So good construction. Um, they're not super thin and super soft like uh, the Yanks. And they're not as thin as the Mojos, which is the other pair of rips that they have. But um, you can tell they're real durable and they'll last a while. So, you know, people can yank on them all they want. Nose threads inside and out is good. It's got the little logo inside here. And the crotch is, you know, sewn the way it's supposed to be. So also, as a bonus, if you're one of the first people to uh, pre-order, they gave you actually a mouth guard. The mouth guard's inside. They gave you a sticker package, which is really cool. And you get your little sticker there. So that was a nice little bonus. So overall impressions of the, the gi, beautiful gi. Um, I can tell it's going to be a little bit more fitted um, than, say, um, my Shoyo Yank. Um, it's probably going to be a little bit more like the Moya around the armpits. And when it shrinks down, it's going to be nice. Um, you know, Hopefully it doesn't shrink too much in this area because I need some space here. But... Um, Already I can tell it's, it's a really nice gi. Pants, um, I already like. So other than that patch on the back of the pants, um, really, really good. So I'm going to wash this. I'm going to soak it in vinegar first, wash it, and then as soon as my knee heals up, I'm going to try this puppy out. So um, good job, competitor. If you've never heard of them, they're out of Guam. And um, they sent... Uh, me a tracking number and an email telling me when you know to expect it and I was I was able to get online and see it go from Guam to Hawaii to California so um, I appreciate that you know they ran about mm, maybe about 30 days behind what their scheduled date was but um, that's typical nowadays so um, just because the, the factories in Pakistan and all that stuff but I, I like this. I can tell it's a little, um, it's kind of a little rough already, which I like. It's not as soft as a shoulder roll uh, count, which I just got to. And um, the Mojo, which are actually um, both 450, 450 gram. But they're both softer. So I actually like this weave, a little bit rougher weave. I always prefer that more than a softer weave. And the other ones will probably rough up just like... Um, the yank, you know, once it swells, the fibers will swell and the pearls will come up and you get that rougher feel. I like that. So, um, overall, beautiful gi. That's cool that they added in the little patches and stickers and the mouth guard. And, um, really nice. I think this will look good uh, wearing it and it fits you really pretty nice. All right, so, um, check these guys out. Competitor brand. And, um, Look out for more reviews coming. All right. Later.